You there. There's a shield in your hand. Lock with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. The Conclave destroyed a giant hole in the sky. Things aren't looking good. Which is why we're needed. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Was there something you needed? Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. I should get to know you better. We are working together after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? I grew up in Ferelden, near Homley. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the Blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the Breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I... remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? 
Few who survived the blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order, but Red Lyrium had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. I'll let you return to your work. Another time, then. <laughs>